Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Jay Ellison with Echo Benefit Solutions, and I have my friend, Dr. Anilda Ortiz on with uh, Advanced Optimal Health. Thank you for putting that in the background so I can remember it better. Um, and we're going to talk today about three things you need to know about direct primary care. Direct, you don't even know what direct primary care is. You're about to find out. It's really cool. You'll be glad you found out. So uh, the first question is, how is what you do different than the primary care my insurance tells me to go see? Okay. Well, good morning, Jay. Thank you for having me on this morning. Um, well, first of all, my practice is the same as any other practices. You're, it's still your traditional medical office that does everything that um, you get in uh, primary care. So my patients come in, I see them, I assess them. Um, they have a problem, I diagnose, and I come up with a treatment plan and I prescribe you know, medications, labs, imaging, whatever it is. So there's no difference there. The difference between your traditional practice and uh, direct primary care is um, the insurance part of it. So your traditional practice is, um, is based on billing to insurance. Well, where direct primary care, we do not bill uh, insurance. So we just remove that, that middleman um, from the, the equation of, of my relationship with my patients. So uh, my, my patients, whether they have insurance or not, you know, they, they still get the same care. So they come see me, um, I'm available uh, whenever they need to be seen, same day or next day appointments. Um, there's no waiting for days or weeks to be seen. If you're sick today, you're gonna be seen today, not next week when you're already feeling better. Um, there's zero wait times or very minimal wait times. So when you come in for your appointment, it's your appointment, no one else. There's no double booking. There's no 20 people in the waiting room and you're frustrated because you're waiting 30 minutes in the room, in the waiting room to then be brought back and then wait another 10, 15 minutes before you see your provider. That's and then after sad. that, guess what? You have like what? Maybe 10 minutes if you're lucky with your provider. So it, it's opposite of all that. So instead of waiting 30 minutes in the waiting room and spending 10 minutes with your provider, you spend less than five minutes in the waiting room and you have you know, the time that you need to discuss your problems and your issues. My, my visits are between 30 minutes to um, 60 minutes, depending on how complicated the visit is. And, um, and my patients have access to me when they need me. So they have a direct number that they can reach me. There's no answering service. There's no um, back office person that takes a message and then you know never gets the message to me. So you can text me, you can email me, you can call me, and and I'm here. I'm answering. So um, so it's it's that quality direct care between my patients and myself. There's no one in the middle. There's no one dictating what I do. Yeah. So even if they have insurance that wants them to go to primary care, they can still come see you. They can still have a, a, a use your yes. service. Yeah. Yes, yes. So direct primary care is not just for people who don't have insurance. It's for anyone. It's affordable. It's a monthly membership um, practice. So what that means is that my patients pay a monthly membership to be seen, um, not to just to be seen for my services. So what that, um, what that entitles them, the benefits are that there's unlimited visits. They can be seen whenever and how often they need to. There are no co-pays, no deductibles. Um, and and um, it includes an annual physical, annual blood work. I do blood work in the office. Um, everything is affordable. My patients, whether they have insurance or not, and I've learned, my patients have learned this, that I've had a patient who he has insurance and he wanted to... Um, have his blood work sent in through the insurance company, which is fine. So I drew his blood in the office. I sent the, the specimen out to the laboratory and then he got a bill back. So when I looked at the breakdown, the uh, laboratory company charged this patient, let's say um, $900 for everything. The insurance paid about 80% of it and he had a bill of 130. Now, if, uh, if I would have sent his um, lab through my account where it's cash prices, he would have paid $65. So whether you have insurance or you don't, oh my God. it's affordable because huh. insurance, you know, it just, it, it, what it does yeah. is 
it increases the prices, it's inflation, right? Everyone needs a cut. So if they keep it at low cost, then not everybody's going to get a piece of the pie. That's crazy. So, um, and then the third thing we, uh, we wanted to talk about was um, not only can you help individuals and families uh, with memberships, but also um, this is a great tool for, uh, for uh, business owners, small, medium, large, to, uh, mm-hmm. as a benefit to their employees. Why don't you, uh, tell me more. Yes, yeah, so um, that's one of the things that I love about um, direct primary care. Um, small businesses, especially, it's it's very expensive to have medical insurance for your employees. And there's employers out there that they value their employees and they want to take care of them. And, and part of that is offering health care. And um, health care is through health insurance. So it's very expensive to insure an employee. And um, so I provide um, an alternative. It doesn't replace insurance. I'm not insurance, so I don't replace it, but it's an, an uh, a more cost-effective um, alternative for these businesses. So what they do is I work with them um, and I provide services, whether it's here in the office or I go on site or via telehealth, um, but the employers will um, pay the monthly membership for their employees. And, um, and so it's a fraction of a cost of what insurance is. Insurance is thousands for one person um, with direct primary care it's maybe a couple of hundred or less than that for um, for the employees but the employees have someone they can call so if they don't feel good they can call me I see them right away and and that way the employer knows is this person able to come back to work is this person you know contagious is anybody else going to get sick from from um, what's going on Um, How much time is this person going to have downtime? So what it does, it lets the employer know about the employee status. I never give them any medical information. Just, yes, they need to stay home or no, they can go back to work. Um, So it it helps with productivity. It helps with the overall health and well-being of the employees, but it reduces absenteeism and it gives the employers, you know, a benefit over an edge over other employers because it's a retention benefit and um and also you know to getting in new employees because if if they're offering health care a provider that they can see when, when they need them um yeah. they're going to have people who are going to want to work with them versus someone yeah. who can't afford that I, I work with a lot of small businesses for for health insurance and you're right it is appallingly expensive and and their heart's in the right place. They want to take care of their people. And it's, you can care about your people and want to have you people come to work at the same time that that's not conflicting goals. Um, and they want to do something to help out their people and retain good people. You can want to do both of those things at the same time without being contradictory. And um, packages of things they can put together um, with, with a budget that's below what they would have to pay for full health insurance. This is one of my favorite things in that in that set of products but you know mm-hmm. and uh i think it's it's a, a very underutilized resource and the, the the hiring marketplace is so competitive right now you know mm-hmm. and if you're going up against somebody that has uh, a benefit package even if it's non-traditional and you don't have anything even if you're paying a little bit more you're probably gonna lose um and it's uh, everybody i know that has a business is hiring or trying to hire and mm-hmm. they're, they're struggling you know, and the, the, the younger generation is willing to forego uh, some pay for, mm-hmm. you know, the secure of having uh, some kind of benefits. And this is a good one. Exactly. So, but, and, you uh, know, and, and it just helps people from staying out of the emergency room, staying out of their urgent care, because those people who don't have insurance or they have a high deductible, let's say, yeah. or they have to pay co-pays. They avoid healthcare. They avoid getting seen because they're worried about the cost. Oh, I have to pay um, this copay and it's so expensive, or I have to reach my deductible and I don't have, you know, I, I can't afford that deductible right now. So yeah. this helps with that because when they come in to see me, whether I see them once a month, every couple of months, or five times a month, um, there's no copays, there's no deductible. You're yeah. paying your monthly membership, which is a, a low cost, starting at 55 a month, which is very affordable, whether you have insurance or not. You yeah. see me when you need me, and I'm keeping you healthy so you can avoid having to go to the urgent care of the emergency room. Yeah. 
Awesome. Well, the, the, the website and the contact info will be, will be on the screen. So if they want to learn more, they can reach out. Um, but I promise you, it's definitely worth looking into. Um, if you're even remotely curious, you should look into it because it, it's a, uh, not enough people take advantage of this and um, you, you average wait time to get your kid into a pediatrician is well over a week, which is an eternity when you have a sick kid. Yes. And I use the VA system. So the average time to get an appointment there is six weeks for primary care and You're virtual, even virtual is like three weeks. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, and I love the VA system, great people, but dude, six weeks. Um, but this is a way to, to get around, you know, to, uh, you know, take more control of it. So, all right. Thank you, doc. And, um, we'll have this up soon and, um, thank you very much. You're welcome. And, and anyone who just wants to come in and see how, you know, check out the office and talk to me. I do complimentary meet and greets, 15, 20 minutes. I go over anything with them. So there's no cost to them. They just come in and, um, and I'll just show them around. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you.